So why don't we tell them these about these short ribs? Because they're just so beautiful. All right. They're well trimmed. They're a nice thick. Oh, and there's plenty thick of, piece meat of meat there. There's plenty of meat on there. So what I did was I browned them up in a little bit of olive oil because now I need to put some aromatic vegetables in with this. And we should tell them that uh, when you uh, deal with raw meat like that, you want to season them with salt and pepper, right? Salt and pepper, yep. You want to make sure your hands are washed before and washed afterwards mm -hmm. anytime you handle raw product. So in that same pan, that I browned those short ribs, I'm going to add some pancetta. So we're going to put that right in. And you know that pancetta is unsmoked Italian bacon. So I'm going to get the heat up here. Get that going, because this is going to flavor the drippings. And if you find that you have very fatty short ribs, well, then you want to take off some of the excess uh, fat that's in the pan. We want to add what the Italians call the odori, the aromatics. And of course, we have to have onion. So onion goes in with the pancetta. Need one onion. I'm gonna give that now a little salt and a little pepper. And we also wanna add some carrots with that. So I'm gonna set that down the side there for a minute. So we've got some diced carrots. And that's gonna go in. And I love fennel with this. I think this just makes a really nice tasting ragu. So here is fennel, diced up. We want about a cup of that. We want this to cook down. And then with it, we want to have some garlic, of course. So I put the garlic in towards the end because you don't want the garlic to burn. So one or two cloves of garlic. And then we want some mushrooms. I'm using these. These are shiitake mushrooms. They have a very nice woodsy flavor, and I like them in this dish. So I'm going to add the mushrooms. And you want to do this in a heavy, heavy-duty casserole dish. To keep the heat in while the ribs are cooking. Then we want some other things with this. We're going to use tomatoes, of course. This is going to be part of our ragu. And for the tomatoes, you want to use a good plum tomato. These are plum tomatoes that we've just chopped up. If you get them whole in the can, you can just chop them up with the scissors right in the can, or you could puree them somewhat in a food processor. And we're going to add some wine to this, about a third of a cup of a good red wine. Any wine that you can drink, you can cook with. And the rest of the wine I'm going to put right in the pan with the mushrooms. So that goes in here. We're going to let that most of that wine cook off before we add the other ingredients. And then to just really give this added flavor, I'm using a commercial balsamic vinegar. This is just industrial balsamic vinegar. You buy this in the grocery store, and this is what you use for cooking, or you want to put it on your, your salad. So a little bit of the balsamic goes in there. You just mix that all around. And then I like a little heat with this. So some hot red pepper flakes. I'm gonna put that right in there. If you didn't like that, you could leave it out. And either some oregano or parsley goes in. And that's all there is to that. So you let this cook down some. And then you can add those ribs right back to the pan. Oh, they are truly hefty. And one of these is going to serve, uh, is a good for a serving per person. So you lay them right on top of those vegetables. Get them anchored in there. And when you brown these, I should have mentioned this to you, if you can't get them all in the pan at one time, make sure you brown them a few at a time. Otherwise, they will not brown, they will steam. And that's not good, because you want a nice crust on those. I'm going to pour the sauce over the top. You put the top on. The oven is on. 325 degrees. Oh, it's a hefty one. 
and in it goes. I'm speechless, absolutely beautiful. And you see how they have cooked down. And you really want a low temperature because you want the meat to cook slowly. There's a lot of connective tissue in short ribs. So what you have to do next is you don't want to serve it like that. You need to take the ribs off the, the bone. You need to take that meat off. So what I do is take them out. And you take a knife and you take it right off the bone. Look at how beautiful that is. Look at this. It's so soft and tender. And I save the bones because the dog really loves that. So you take it and you just cut it up into pieces, bite-sized pieces. And it's even easier to do this when this is cold. So if you were doing this the day before, it'd be a lot easier to take the meat off the bone. I wanna come over here and throw my pasta in because we're serving this with some pasta. So you wanna have some water ready. You wanna have four quarts of boiling water going for a pound of pasta. You could do this with a shortcut of pasta like farfalle or rigatoni. We're gonna use farfalle today. So in that goes. I'm gonna give it a stir and let that cook until it is al dente. Put the cover back on. So when that pasta comes back to the boil, I think it's ready. And now we pour that right in there, just like that. And it all fits beautifully. And then you want to give it a nice toss in this fabulous sauce. Look at this, it's so gorgeous.